Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing the sweater weather tag. I saw that Miss Glamorazzi and a few other people had done this tag and it just looked like such a lovely tag to do around this time of the year. I know there was the I Heart Fall tag or something like that that went around the past couple of years and I think I did that the first year. Um, and then because it was the same questions the second year I didn't do it so this time around now we've got like a new tag with new questions I thought this would be a perfect tag to do for this time of year so I believe it was it's me Lexi one who created this tag so I'll leave a link to her channel below so you can go check out her channel and see the original video but with all of that being said I'm just going to go ahead and jump into the questions and I have them all written down on my notepad so I don't forget them so question one is favourite candle scent and I would have to say it is this cinnamon stick scent from Yankee Candle. As you can see I have used this entire thing up, it kind of burnt down to about here and then I had to freeze it to get the rest of the wax out because it wouldn't burn anymore. It still smells so good though, I absolutely love cinnamon as you probably would have guessed if you watched my Birchbox video um, when I was talking about the tea that we got. Oh, it just smells so good. I absolutely love this. I need to pick up some more of these actually because I just absolutely love it. And in case anybody was wondering, the reason I kind of got all the wax out is I'm going to clean this up and reuse it as kind of makeup storage. So definitely, definitely the cinnamon stick scent and I've been burning that this entire season. I absolutely love it. And like I said, I want to get more of them because I just love it so, so much. It's just so warming and cozy and just perfect for this time of year. So that is my favorite candle scent. Question two is coffee, tea or hot chocolate? Now I don't like coffee, I wish I did and I can't drink hot chocolate because I'm lactose intolerant so I'll have to say tea but I do really like tea. The only tea that I really drink is the Tetley's uh, lemon green tea. I absolutely love that so that is my tea of choice but yeah definitely tea. Question three is, what's the best full memory you have? And I have a really terrible memory. It's absolutely awful. I can remember barely anything. It's just, it's so bad. But I guess I would have to say, kind of just in general, the kind of changing of the seasons, how everything gets a bit colder and crisper, the leaves on the trees change. Um, and there's a really, actually, there's a really pretty um, part of my drive to work that's just pretty no matter what the weather but at this time of the year and um, there's kind of trees on either side and they're changing it's just it's such a nice part of my drive to work I absolutely love that part um, but just in general I guess I would have to say um, like going for a walk at this time of the year and like I said the leaves are all changing the air's a bit crisper and cooler and you get to kind of wrap up in coats and scarves and things and then you get to come home to a nice warm house and have a cup of tea and just get warmed up again I think that kind of just in general would be like my favourite full memory Question four, which makeup trend do you prefer, dark lips or winged liner? You can probably tell from what I'm wearing today I would have to go for dark lips. I'm not the best at winged eyeliner, um, so yeah, that's that, but definitely darker lips. I'm only just starting to get into darker lips, and what I'm wearing on my lips today is a 17 lipstick in, it's one of their lasting fix lipsticks in mulled wine which looks like that and like I said that's what I'm wearing on my lips today but I do have a kind of favourite full lip products video that I did not too long ago so I'll link that below in case you want to go check that out and see some other suggestions but definitely I would have to say darker lips. Question five is favourite fragrance for fall and I would have to say this um, Calvin Klein Euphoria perfume. I've loved this for the past few years and I don't know if you're going to be able to see but I have barely any of it left so I need to pick up another one of these but this is just such a lovely fragrance that I love to bring out in the autumn and winter time because it is a bit heavier. Oh it's just so nice I can't even describe it. It's a little bit sweet but kind of heavy at the same time. It's just so nice and I, yeah, like I said, I need to pick up another one of these because I absolutely love this scent. If you haven't smelt it, if you don't have this, when you're next in Superdrug or Boots or wherever um, that sells perfume, give this one a sniff and you will probably love it as well because it's just amazing. Question six is favourite Thanksgiving food. Now, in the UK we don't celebrate Thanksgiving, but um, kind of, I guess in general this time of year I tend to have more roast dinners and I absolutely love roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings actually. So roast, roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings I guess I would have to say um, for that question. 
Question seven is, what is autumn weather like where you live? Um, right now it's kind of a bit miserable looking. It's usually kind of overcast or raining, usually quite cold and windy. We're actually due some snow apparently, either later on this week or next week maybe. We're supposed to be getting snow from basically November to January. So we'll see if that happens. But today it's kind of overcast, it's a bit darker out. Um, and yeah, it's a bit colder, a bit windy as well today. So yeah, that's kind of generally what it's like in the autumn. It's usually quite miserable, quite dark. Um, you kind of wake up in the morning and it's dark out and you um, drive home from work in the dark. It's just, it's kind of a more miserable time of year, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of building up to Christmas. So you're feeling, getting more and more into the festive spirit. So it's quite nice as well. Question eight is most worn sweater. Now I have this one, which I have worn quite a lot kind of in previous years, like the past two years, I want to say. I'm gonna back up a bit so you can see this a bit better. Which if you kind of go back and watch my videos last year and probably the year before, you'll probably notice me wearing this in a lot of my videos. But the one I've really been loving this year is the one that I'm wearing. I'll just try and show you a bit better what it looks like. I've had this for a year or two as well, um, and I kind of forgot about it. I think I wore it a lot last year, and then I kind of forgot about it, and I found it the other day, and I've been pulling this out and wearing it a lot recently. So it's just a kind of black and cream striped sweater. It's a little bit cropped, so I tend to wear a black tank top underneath, but it's just really nice, and I've really been loving it this year. Scoot back closer to the camera. Yeah, like I said, I've really been loving it a lot this year and wearing it a lot. So this would probably be my favourite or most worn sweater for this year. Question 9 is, must have nail polish this fall? And I would have to say this Essie nail polish in Bordeaux. This is such a gorgeous kind of deep, almost blood red nail polish. It has a bit of a kind of almost jelly finish to it. I really, really love this. I actually picked this up couple of months ago in, antici an in anticipation of the fall season so really really would recommend this colour it just looks so beautiful on and I absolutely love it. Question 10 is football games or jumping in leaf piles we don't tend to have like um, I know in America there's all those football games around this time of the year but we don't really have that in the UK so I would probably have to go with jumping in leaf piles because that just seems like so much fun. Question 11 is skinny jeans or leggings? I don't tend to wear leggings that much. I've only just recently started getting into wearing them and I tend to only wear them with dresses because I don't really have any kind of longer tops to wear them with. So I would have to say skinny jeans. Question 12 is combat boots or Uggs? I don't own either of those, but I think I would have to say combat boots would be more what I would wear more. If I had both of them, I'd probably wear combat boots more out of the house and probably wear the Uggs inside the house. Question 13, is pumpkin spice worth the hype? I'm not quite sure what pumpkin spice is supposed to be. If it's supposed to be an actual spice that you add to food, or if it's like an actual food type, or if it's just a scent, like a candle scent or something, I'm not quite sure. So I can't tell you whether or not it's worth the hype. Question 14 is favourite full TV show and I would have to say The Vampire Diaries. Hands down has to be Vampire Diaries. I love me some Delaina action. Just Oh my god, I actually, that just reminds me, I need to watch the latest episode because I haven't seen it yet, but I absolutely love that show and it's all like dark and like deeper, richer colours, so it just seems to go with this season and I absolutely love that show. And finally, question 15 is, what song really gets you into the fall spirit? Um, not so much a song as an album, it would have to be Taylor Swift's Red album, which um, I kind of first listened to around this time last year, absolutely loved it, so now that album, that entire album just reminds me of this season and I love listening to that, kind of that whole album really at this time of the year. So that was the sweater weather tag. I will leave a list of all the questions below in case you guys want to do the tag. And if you do, please tweet me a link to your video so I can watch it now that we don't have video responsing, um, because I'd love to see your guys' tags and the, your answers to the questions. And I am going to tag Urban Katie 98 Jessica Bentley1999, Laura Loves Beauty X, All That Sparkles38, J Prim and Winter's Cowl. So I will leave a list of the, all those people down below as well in case you don't know who they are and you haven't seen their channels. I will leave a link to the, all of their channels so you can go check them out as well because they're all amazing. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!